Chapter 4 Landscape of the Soul by Nathalie Troveroy Notice these expressions in the text. Infer their meaning from the context. 1. Anecdote 2. Delicate Realism 3. Figurative Painting 4. Illusionistic Likeness 5. Conceptual Space Now the text. A wonderful old tale is told about the painter Hu Daozi, who lived in the 8th century. His last painting was a landscape commissioned by the Tang Emperor Zhuangzong to decorate a palace wall. The master had hidden his work behind a screen, so only the emperor would see it. For a long while, the emperor admired the wonderful scene, discovering forests, high mountains, waterfalls, cloud floating in an immense sky, men on hilly paths, birds in flight. Look, sire, said the painter. In this cave, at the foot of the mountain, dwells a spirit. The painter clapped his hands and the entrance to the cave opened. The inside is splendid, beyond anything words can convey. Please let me show your majesty the way. The painter entered the cave, but the entrance closed behind him. And before the astonished emperor could move or utter a word, the painting had vanished from the wall. Not a trace of Wu Daozi's brush was left. And the artist was never seen again in this world. Such stories played an important part in China's classical education. The books of Confucius and Zhuangzi are full of them. They helped the master to guide his disciple in the right direction. Beyond the anecdote, they are deeply revealing of the spirit in which art was considered. Page 35 Contrast this story or another famous one about a painter who wouldn't draw the eye of a dragon he had painted for fear it would fly out of the painting with an old story from my native Flanders that I find most representative of Western painting. In 15th century Antwerp, a master blacksmith called Quentin Metzies fell in love with a painter's daughter. The father would not accept a son-in-law in such a profession. So Quentin sneaked into the painter's studio and painted a fly on his latest panel with such delicate realism that the master tried to sweat it away before he realized what had happened. Quentin was immediately admitted as an apprentice into his studio. He married his beloved and went on to become one of the most famous painters of his age. A perfect illusionistic likeness in Europe. The essence of inner life and spirit in Asia. In the Chinese story, the emperor commissions a painting and appreciates its outer appearance. But the artist reveals to him the true meaning of his work. The emperor may rule over the territory he has conquered but only the artist knows the way within. Let me show the way, the Tao, a word that means both the path or the method and the mysterious works of the universe. The painting is gone, but the artist has reached his goal, beyond any material appearance. A classic Chinese landscape is not meant to reproduce an actual view, as would a Western figurative painting. Whereas the European painter wants you to borrow his eyes and look at a particular landscape exactly as he saw it from a specific angle. The Chinese painter does not choose a single viewpoint. His landscape is not a real one. And you can enter it from any point. Then travel in it. The artist creates a path for your eyes to travel up and down. Then back again in a leisurely movement. This is even more true in the case of the horizontal scroll, in which the action of slowly opening one section of the painting, then rolling it up to move on to the other, adds a dimension of time 
which is unknown in any other form of painting. It also requires the active participation of the viewer who decides at what pace he will travel through the painting. A participation which is physical as well as mental. The Chinese painter does not want you to borrow his eyes. He wants you to enter his mind. The landscape is an inner one, a spiritual and conceptual space. Page 36 This concept is expressed as Shan Shui, literally mountain water, which used together represent the word landscape. More than two elements of an image, these represent two complementary poles, reflecting the Taoist view of the universe. The mountain is yang, reaching vertically towards heaven, stable, warm and dry in the sun, while the water is yin, horizontal and resting on the earth, fluid, moist and cool. The interaction of yin, the receptive, feminine aspect of universal energy and its counterpart yang, active and masculine, is of course a fundamental notion of Taoism. What is often overlooked is an essential third element, the middle void where their interaction takes place. This can be compared with the yogic practice of pranayam. Breathe in, retain, breathe out. The suspension of breath is the void where meditation occurs. The middle void is essential. Nothing can happen without it. Hence the importance of the white, unpainted space in Chinese landscape. This is also where man finds a fundamental role. In that space between heaven and earth, he becomes the conduit of communication between both poles of the universe. His presence is essential, even if it's only suggested, far from being lost or oppressed by the lofty peaks. He is in Francois Chang's wonderful expression, the eye of the landscape. Excerpt from Landscape of the Soul, Ethics and Spirituality in Chinese Painting, slightly edited. Getting Inside Outsider Art When French painter Jean Dubuffet mooted the concept of art brut in the 1940s, the art of the untrained visionary was of minority interest. From its almost veiled beginnings, outsider art has gradually become the fastest growing area of interest in contemporary art internationally. This genre is described as the art of those who have no right to be artists as they have received no formal training, yet show talent and artistic insight. Their works are a stimulating contrast to a lot of mainstream offerings. Around the time Du Buffet was propounding his concept, in India, an untutored genius was creating paradise. Years ago, the little patch of jungle that he began clearing to make himself a garden sculpted with stone and recycled material is known to the world today as the Rock Garden at Chandigarh. Page 37 Its 80-year-old creator-director, Nick Chand, is now hailed as India's biggest contributor to outsider art. The 50th issue, Spring 2005, of Raw Vision, a UK-based magazine pioneer in outsider art publications, features Nick Chand and his rock garden sculpture, Woman by the Waterfall, on its anniversary issue's cover. The notion of art brut or raw art was of works that were in their raw state as regards cultural and artistic influences. Anything and everything from a tin to a sink to a broken down car could be material for a work of art, something Nekchand has taken to dizzying heights. Recognizing his art as an outstanding testimony of the difference a single man can make when he lives his dream, the Swiss Commission for UNESCO will be honoring him by way of a European exposition of his works. The five-month interactive show, Realm of Nekchand, beginning October will be held at leading museums in Switzerland, Belgium, France and Italy. The biggest reward is walking through the garden and seeing people enjoy my creation, 
नेक चंद सेज ब्रिंदा सूरी हिंदुस्तान टाइम्स 28 अगस्त 2005। इन दिस पेज द इमेज Showing a rock garden sculpture made of broken bangles by Nekchand. Page thirty-eight. Understanding the text. One of one. Contrast the Chinese view of art with the European view with examples. Two of one. Explain the concept of Shan Shui. One of two. What do you understand by the terms outsider art and art bread or raw art? Two of two. Who was the untutored genius who created a paradise, and what is the nature of his contribution to art? Talking about the text. Discuss the following statements in groups of four. One, the emperor may rule over the territory he has conquered, but only the artist knows the way within. Two, the landscape is an inner one, a spiritual and conceptual space. Thinking about language. One, find out the correlates of yin and yang in other cultures. Two. What is the language spoken in Flanders? Working with words. First, the following common words are used in more than one sense. Words are panel, studio, brush, essence, material. Examine the following sets of sentences to find out what the words panel and essence mean in different contexts. One of one, the mask from Bava village in Mali look like long panels of decorated wood. Two of one, Judge H. Hobart Grooms told the jury panel he had heard the reports. Three of one, the panel is laying the groundwork for an international treaty. Page thirty nine. Four of one. The glass panels of the window were broken. Five of one. Through the many round tables, workshops, and panel discussions, a consensus was reached. Six of one. The sink in the hinged panel above the bunk drains into the head. One of two. Their repetitive structure must have taught the people around the great composer the essence of music. Two of one. Part of the answer is in the proposition, but the essence is in the meaning. Three of two. The implications of these schools of thought are of practical essence for the teacher. Four of two. They had added vanilla essence to the pudding. Second, now find five sentences each for the rest of the words to show the different senses in which each of them is used. Noticing form. First, a classical Chinese landscape is not meant to reproduce an actual view, as would a Western figurative painting. Two, whereas the European painter wants you to borrow his eyes. And look at a particular landscape exactly as he saw it, from a specific angle. The Chinese painter does not choose a single viewpoint. The above two examples are ways in which contrast may be expressed. Combine the following sets of ideas to show the contrast between them. One of one, European art tries to achieve a perfect illusionistic likeness. Two of one. Asian art tries to capture the essence of inner life and spirit. One of two, the emperor commissions a painting and appreciates its outer appearance. Two of two, the artist reveals to him the true meaning of his work. One of three, 
the emperor may rule over the territory he has conquered. Two of three, the artist knows the way within. Things to do. One, find out about as many Indian schools of painting as you can. Write a short note on the distinctive features of each school. Two. Find out about experiments in recycling that help in environmental conservation. Page 40 Notes Understanding the text Factual and global understanding Talking about the text Discussing spiritual experiences Thinking about language 1. Inner cultural philosophical viewpoints and related terms. 2. Knowing about the languages of the world. Working with words. Using words according to their function. Noticing form. Use of conjunctions to express contrast. In the box. Soaring interest in Chinese art. A painting by an 86-year-old Chinese master has gone under the hammer for a record 30 million yuan, highlighting soaring world interest in Chinese art. The work by Wu Guangzhong depicting a cluster of colorful parrots sitting on tree branches smashed the previous record price for a Chinese ink painting of 23 million yuan for a 12th century masterpiece by the Song dynasty emperor Hui Zong. Wu Guangzong has successfully melded Chinese and Western artistic traditions, said Ma Zafai, marketing manager from China's Poly Art and Culture Company.